And the gospel today, Jesus is on the mountain after the resurrection, bringing the disciples there and telling them that he's been given all power over heaven and earth by his father and commands the disciples, the apostles, to go and preach to all nations, baptizing them in his name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. So preaching, the apostles are preaching, and preaching is really rhymes with teaching, and that's what we're supposed to do. That's what preaching is, teaching teaching the nations about Jesus Christ, about the gospel. And it's really a teaching rather than, you know, just telling people what to do or trying to entertain people, which is a temptation, especially in our day, to entertain, to tell stories, to make people interested in what we have to say, to not offend anybody so that we <clears throat> have people like us or that, the collection box is not empty, etc. Rather than teaching the truth, Jesus said, teach them all things whatsoever I have commanded you. All things, why? So that we know everything that we need, that we need to get to heaven, to live a holy life. Not just those things that are tickle our ears or we like to hear or that are nice and that are consoling, but the hard truths as well hard truths because it's the hard truths that really keep us from committing sin. We need to be challenged. We can't just have everything easy for us. We have to be challenged against, against uh, the strong desires that we have to commit sin, to have our own pleasures and desires. We need to be challenged just not to do these things, instead to follow the law of the gospel we need to tell people about the last things, heaven, hell, purgatory, judgment, death. These things are going to happen to one or another of us, uh, all of us. Heaven or hell, of course, is a, a choice, uh, is either or. But the rest are all going to happen to us as last things that we should always be thinking about. And so it has to be preached and taught to today's world and we, we need to be always reminded knowing that we are forgetful creatures. We sometimes are blinded by our own sin or pride or you know we don't want to always hear things that are correcting us. And uh, so we, but we still know that we need to hear these things. So we need to be retaught many things, me and you, he, you know, who are in the choir but other people, of course, as well, need to know the basics. The catechism needs to be taught. So many things to be taught. Virtue needs to be taught. As St. Francis said, we need to preach virtue and vice, punishment and glory. And that's the truth. So it needs to be taught. We need to teach as parents need to teach. And it's not easy to teach. It takes effort and uh, persevering work. And so nowadays, parents don't always want to teach their children because it takes work and it's easier to just to sit them down by the TV and do the things we like to do. Instead, we need to do that work because the souls are at stake. Our own souls are at stake. We need to teach our, ourselves and we need to teach others because our salvation is on the line. And souls are lost because people don't hear the truth, they're not preached the truth, and they don't uh, have people to pray and sacrifice for them too. So it's not all preaching, it's also praying and sacrificing that people will hear the truth, they will be able to absorb it and put it into practice. And, and uh, it, is God's, it is God who changes hearts and converts people, not uh, the preaching itself but it is God in the preaching. So we need to ask our Lord to touch hearts, to, uh, to give us the words and to have him and Our Lady speak in us and through us. For the gospel to spread to the ends of the earth, for as many souls to be saved as possible.